So about three weeks ago, I was out and about on Facebook Marketplace just looking for a little solid state amp to review to do a fun little like adventure around the town to see what different pieces of gear I could get to try out. And for the most part, I've been pretty open about the fact that I've had a, some really dumb misconceptions about different pieces of gear, whether that be Mexican Fender Strats or solid state amps or virtual amps or whatever but none sort of blew me away, kind of like the Boss Katana, right? Even in the review, I wasn't able to really access, I feel like, the full capabilities of the M. And once I started really digging into the Tone Studio, all my assumptions kind of went out the door. And I'm not here to tell you that this is the best amp I've ever used and $300, it'll just blow away your classic Vox or Marshall amps. No, but for the price bang for your buck and actually defining the word value, it was one of the best pieces of musical equipment that I've ever used sound wise at that price range and also like I keep saying with the tone studio and the capabilities and it got to the point where I was so obsessed with the boss katana and just what it could do just talking about weird gear to like my friends around town when talking to me they'd be like oh have you seen the new 68 reissue Princeton reverb and in my mind I'm just thinking to myself you know I have some great presets on the katana tone studio and I'd love to share them with you and they're actually amazing my friends have sent me some great ones and all I watch on YouTube is the Studio Rats and I just went down this crazy rabbit hole with the Boss Katana because I love that amp so much. And I wanted to see what else was out there. You know, kind of go even deeper down the rabbit hole and see like with the artist series, like what's the difference or see what the top, top of the line for the Katana was. And it's funny, as soon as I wanted to see that, I went on Boss's website and they had released the Katana Artist Mark II head. And I instantly was like, okay, that's the next thing on my list. I don't care whether the gear is out there. I want to try it. I want to see what it's all about. It's a Katana 100 watt artist head with a 2x12 cab. <laughs> this thing's getting ridiculous. So it's go time. Okay, I'm going to scoop back because I just want to show you that this is in fact the heaviest piece of gear that I've been sent over this past year probably. And this is just the head. I'm so excited. There's a patch of sunlight in my room. I know you feel them too. Oh boy. Okay, as a kid, did anyone else, I used to like pretend these were like Taekwondo blocks and chop them. This thing is way bigger than I thought it would be. It looks big online, but I didn't think it was like, this is like a giant guitar head. And to all the roadies out there, maybe you can let me know, what's it like having to carry like all these big 100, 200 pound cabs all the time all over the road? How long does it take to get used to it? So here's what I did, and the setup was super easy, right? The big thing with the 212 cab and having that right now, having all those opportunities is to do the stereo setup. So I put the Royer on the right cab and that's the ribbon mic and I really have loved that for a while. But the thing I usually use is my vocal talking mic for the videos. I sacrificed a little bit. I put it in like that super cardioid mode. So it's kind of like a shotgun mic. So I still get the condenser sound, but it's right against the cabinet. It sounds super cool. And I usually use it on acoustics, but it'll be cool to have a condenser and a ribbon mic and, and to be able to blend those in the mix. So. So as always, I sort of started out with a clean channel because why not? And using the telly on this, my telly is a little bit higher output than most of my other guitars. So it's cool to be able to do that. The greatest thing about this amp that I've found, especially after miking up and just like testing the sound is the attenuator button. And with a stack, just one of the things that I've talked about many times before is my fear of bringing an amp in here and just not being able to truly get the sound. So the attenuator, I just put it on the 50 do you want knob and I was able to just like kind of play with the master and the volume knobs and really dial in the perfect tone so that so that was really cool and then I went on to the crunch setting because I wanted a little bit more And 
I put a different overdrive on that just to get a little bit more out of it. And I really like that sound, especially with the telly. And I was able to get a little bit of some of those Midwest emo chords in there. And I like the sound a lot. But then I wanted to skip right past the lead channel and just go to the brown setting, which is the heaviest setting that the amp offers. <laughs> cool thing about that is that was where I was really able to see the capabilities and the varieties of not just tones you could get but like I was able to play with the contour which is the tone shaping which gives you a little bit more control over some of the mid settings and having some presets in there and I really like that especially for like the heavier stuff which goes back to the reason why I love this amp in the first place is just the variety of things you can do I think you can get a lot of affordable tube amps nowadays especially in like the four or five hundred dollar range or whatnot so i think that some of the like solid state amps and some of the more digital amps are are starting to stack on more and more of what they can do in order to compete with those and i think this is one of the prime examples where like there's some solid state amps out there that are really dope and i think this is one of them so i continued to play i stacked on a little bit of reverb with everything and just wanted to see what that would sound like <music> Finally, I just put on the Ottawa. I wanted to try out some of these effects. And they were really cool, and I think they'll more get into what I want to do with the capabilities of this amp, especially in a live setting. Once I get the actual foot switch, and I'm able to dial in those presets just at the click of a button and save what I have, which is another cool thing about that I like the integration coming from the MK2. It didn't take a while. It only took like a couple minutes to figure out and set up the whole thing, especially, like I said, with the stereo miking capabilities with the 212 cab, that was the thing that I loved the most. And there were just so many different things that I was able to play with to really dial in the tones without it getting too overwhelming because I already had some of those presets and I already knew what I wanted. To be honest, to give you my honest, full, final opinion, I really love this amp. It's one of the things I've been looking for when considering whether or not to get a solid state amp for a while. So I am more than happy with what I just played, especially like I said with the MK2, the engineer me, just having to have this amp in the back of the room and have the tone studio, not being able to worry about changing anything the knobs being able to do everything from my computer that's going to be an absolute game changer i think for me and just getting tones and making videos and i can't go on enough about how much i love this amp i think i've become a solid state simp but yeah like i said i can't wait to get the foot switch and actually try it and maybe use this thing live or just bring the head and go direct out or see what i can do with that but anyway Thank you so much for watching this video. It was an absolute pleasure. If you want to know anything more about any of the gear that I used in this video or how I got any of the tones, it can all be gotten at Sweetwater. The links are in the description. It's one of the best ways to support the channel if that's something you want to do. Or if you just want to know anything more about those tones, make sure to check out the links. And the very last and most important thing, like literally the most important thing, have a great day. Tell them that it's human nature. Why? Why?